On Friday, we told you the story of Kevin Fish, an Iraq War veteran who says he was diagnosed with bone cancer in 2012. Fish was looking to raise money on GoFundMe.com for what he said would have been his final trip with his family to his native Louisiana. But we learned the pictures of the x-ray on the crowdfunding site were not of Fish. This is your PET scan, right? Yes. All right, that picture is from a medical journal published in 2007. It is the exact same picture of what you have as your PET scan. How can you justify that? I don't know. I was sitting right in the doctor's office in the VA Loma Linda, and he put it up as he was going through all my treatments. Fish was adamant he was not at fault for the false photo. As God is my witness. I was sitting in the office. He put this up on there after I was sitting in a, a box, MRI box, for 30 minutes taking pictures of my body, and it was up there. The photo you have isn't an MRI. It is an X-ray. I there is no M the MRI I'm not a doctor. I don't so know. so much more detail than that, and it's not there. That is an X-ray of a person. That's not you. That was what was in the doctor's office whenever he brought out the test results and put it on the thing, and I took, I took a snapshot of it. Fish says he was diagnosed with cancer two years ago, but he couldn't produce any proof that he's been battling the disease when I talked to him at his home. You're saying that you have bone cancer, and you have no way to prove that at your residence, which we're at right now. No, I don't keep medical records in my home. Pastor West Wilson is the senior pastor at Sword of the Lord in Thousand Palms. Fish had told the church about his alleged illness and members of the church may have donated to the fund. Well, it's gonna sound terrible, but I hope he has cancer. I hope he really is sick. I hope that this doesn't go so far, the deception doesn't go so deep that it's, he doesn't have cancer at all. Fish had already raised $1,650 on the site. He took down the GoFundMe page while we were talking to him, but he could still cash in. A statement from the website emailed to us states, GoFundMe does not actually handle any of the funds. All of the donations are processed by our payment partners and are kept in a separate payment account accessible only to the campaign organizer. So, if an organizer decides to remove their GoFundMe campaign, they still have the ability to access the funds in their payment account afterward. And our counsel to him was, if there's anything that he needs to do, if he needs to come clean, then he needs to come clean. Our second bit of advice to him was he needs to return every single bit of donation money that was given to him. Joe Galley, CBS Local 2, Joshua Tree.